cheater video we got a couple of responses um y'all living some hard lives out here y'all y'all sneaking around so our next two topics actually are pertaining to this video um lift it up let them see the j i mean we let making moves see the we making moves y'all let, let's okay so somebody put um that they've been cheated on this was a young lady she had been cheated on by her boyfriend a couple times and it's been a couple of months and she still misses him but you know he keeps cheating and what advice we have for her to move forward and move on um because she's having a hard time just getting past it they were together for a long time we already responded to you so you know yeah. what we said but let them know what we said first of all sis yeah he cheated a couple of times that's the problem right there yeah you got one time if you cheat once, you'll cheat twice. Exactly. You got one time. That one time is going to be your last time cheating, at least on me. Yeah. Because you're not going to get another chance. Yeah. Like, no. And I feel like us women, we have to know our worth. Well, that's and what I was going to say. You don't need to stick around and get cheated on two, three, four, five, six times. That's what we really focused on telling her, too, because people often, so often say, like, quickest way to get over a man is to get under a new one mm -hmm. but really more you need to focus on yourself and build yourself up yeah. tell yourself you're beautiful you're worth it all the good stuff you have going on for yourself that you have going on for yourself without the help of anybody else and realize like who the fuck you are look in the mirror and say yes i'm that you're bitch that, that's yes. who i am yes. you're that bitch and bitch. you know what i'm saying and feel yourself go take yourself shopping to get your own nails mm -hmm. done get your own hair done look cute feel good about you and that's going to start to make you feel better yeah. um and help you to get out of that ditch and stop the communication stop answering those texts stop listening to him say he's sorry i don't care if he's crying i don't I care agree. if he called you and text you stop responding to that man because he's manipulating the situation he may be sorry but if he's done it several times like chances are he's gonna do it again so either you're gonna accept it and go back to it yeah. but if you truly truly want to move on i understand you're hurting baby girl you got hurt for a while that's just how that shit goes mm -hmm. but eventually you will get past it but like you said before in another video that we did like he's sorry he got caught yeah that's why he calling you because he's sorry that you done caught his ass that's, that's why he's sorry because you didn't tell us how many times but you said it was yeah. it's been a couple times so i don't know if a couple is two or if it's 20 but um oh i hope it's only two girl listen homeboy homeboy should have been thinking about you okay yeah. um and since he ain't you think about yourself block him on social media yeah and cut off, cut off as much of the in-between connections you have if y'all got it, don't don't be listening to his sister talking about yeah you know my brother was over here talking about you no nah, i don't want to hear that because it's just gonna make you sad to hear that yeah you're yeah. gonna be like but he was telling his sister like you don't need to hear that mm -mm. it's just gonna upset you more but um let it go let it go the other question that we were going to talk about was from a guy who said that he cheated one time and um he got caught one time it keeps like coming up and you know they're trying to move past it what can he do to like heal that relationship kind of thing i mean if he cheated i feel like he's just gonna have to like deal with it yeah walk through the trenches like you're just gonna have to deal with this nothing you can do you did the dirt now you gotta pay the time like he didn't tell us how long ago it was that he cheated so my thing is if it's been like a week you can't be like it's the past let it go mm -hmm. um if it's been like five years you you probably you might want to leave that relationship because i'm yeah. sorry if i made one mistake i don't want that thrown up in my face and be like um you know so you're not gonna vacuum be like so you're not gonna be faithful and it's like <laughs> what like i'm gonna imagine that like, like five years later like, you know what i'm saying like my bad damn like i do believe people make mistakes but yeah. if you really cheated one time and it's been a long time and they seem like they're never going to get over it go to couples counseling go to therapy if that's still a problem either deal with it for the rest of your life or walk away i'm not saying give up on a relationship or a marriage i don't know what kind of relationship it is you just mm -hmm. say you were cheating um but also i think it depends on whether you were having an affair or if you just got some cheat. i mean it depends on what kind of okay all cheating is bad <laughs> number one but it depends like did you go out there cheating and you brought home a baby like did you go out there and you brought home a std yeah true true like what did you do because if you we don't have, have something that she's gonna have for the rest of her life whether it be a stepchild or some bumps that's gonna show up yeah. in a couple of months i can understand her bringing that up for the rest of your life you're gonna have to hear this shit forever but if they're continuously throwing something up in your face and you've been doing right ever since that's a hard thing to deal with yeah. um and i still i don't think that's fair it's it's not fair but unless you did bring home a child and or disease yeah yeah or he could have did with one of her friends or relatives it depends on how slimy it is if it's that slimy you there's no way she forgave you how can somebody forgive that 
I don't know, but people do. If you sleep with, with my family member and or friend, y'all, mm -hmm. everybody's done. All of, both of you. Everybody's done. Both it's of you. It's a done deal. We, it's, never it's again. done, yeah. Never again. I want to see, I want, I'm not going to Thanksgiving no more if that bitch going to be there. Oh, I'll go to Thanksgiving. I'm not, I don't want to see, no. Yes. You going to come with me? Yeah. Okay. I'll swing first too. Like you fucked her husband. I don't care if it's, it's going to be like soul food. Can we talk about what? <laughs> <laughs> I left Faith into the family. She fucked my husband. Oh, my Everybody going to hear about it. In front of the kids. That was crazy. In front of grandma. In front of every damn body. That's right. Faith fucked my husband. And then you got to chase him with a knife. Like real families do. You talking about me talking about why I get married and you just like did a whole scene with you. I life. love soul food. <laughs> That's a good movie. It's a classic. Our self-care routine video, um, we did a lot of affordable things we do for self-care that everybody can do. We made that very clear. Um, and so we got a, um, actually from our teaser, I think it was probably off of, because we got it through Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do we do when we want to splurge, not just like affordable things? When I splurge, I might go get like an expensive manicure with the extended hand massage or a foot massage or whatever. Um, I've never done a full body massage or even That's a what back I massage, do. but I'm very interested in doing that mm -hmm. and I'm going to definitely treat myself to that this year. Um, that's one of my resolutions to so go ahead and get me a massage. Um, something else I do to splurge, I will take myself out to, not myself, but I will go out to like a nice dinner, um, a nice date, um, a nice little weekend trip or something. Cause those are not like cheap, affordable. Everybody can do it. Yeah. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna take a few coins to do those things. And I feel like that for me, for where I'm at in life, my price range right now. Okay. That's splurging for me. Speaking of splurging, um, I think we said this in another video, but I like to go to the beach. I'm a water sign. I love being by the water. I am also a water sign. Um, I'm very compatible with a Taurus. Throwing it out there. Go ahead. No, it should be like... <laughs> <laughs> That's me throwing a football, y'all. <laughs> you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, That's it. Something I do splurge on. When I got a little extra money and I'm like, let me treat myself, I will um, get my eyebrows done. I will go to the beauty supply store and get hair products. Get 20 get earrings. Hair, get, um, <laughs> huh? 20 earrings. <laughs> <laughs> get, and I will get, um, like, I like toiletries a lot. So mm -hmm. I'll get, like, not from the beauty supply store. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar Tree? Um, no. <laughs> But um, like recently, I just got a new like facial cleanser that I'm really excited about and face mask, which I did. And I'm telling y'all, when it was peeling off, I was like, Ooh! like was it the black one? It wasn't the charcoal mask. Oh. Uh, it was like a clear one, a dry clear. But it just was like I was. Now I will tell you, I was very careful not to go anywhere near my hairline, my mm -hmm. edge. Like I stopped the mask like right here, just in case. Yeah. So I probably have breakouts in that two centimeters of space <laughs> because I wasn't gonna lose no edges, no eyebrows, none of that. I ain't ha I did let get my lip though, because if it pulls out a hair there, then good riddance. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I like to, I like to splurge on toiletries. I like to splurge on hair care. Um, I will splurge on a purse before I'll splurge on like clothes. Cause like you, it's hard, it's me hard too. for me to pay like $90 for a pair of jeans when I could go to H&M and get some for like $9.99. In my head, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. I'm like, like, I, I agree. Like, like to me, they both look the same. Yeah. Like my shit cakey regardless. Like if I want to splurge, I'm going to ignore the fact that I said my shit cakey regardless. Slim thick. Yes. For Thank sure. You. Thank Too bad you. you guys can't see the bottom here. Um, I ain't gonna because you're not ready. <laughs> if I'm gonna splurge, I'm gonna go on Just Fab and Fashion get me Uba. some boots <laughs> and purses combo. It'd be like eighty dollars, and yeah. I got like two boots and two purses for like eighty dollars. That's not bad. Um, I, like, I will spend some money on a purse. I will yeah. say I spent a little bit more than I probably should have on a purse. But the thing to me, like jeans, I feel like I've had nine ninety nine jeans that have lasted like over ten years. With a purse, if you have a purse that's like. I don't know, thirty dollars. It'll lose its shape in a year. Mm -hmm. If you have a purse you spend some money on, you can have it for a very long time. Like the quality is better, the handles yeah. are better, the hardware on it is better. It doesn't start like there's no gold plating that starts mm -hmm. peeling off. Like to me, I personally like purses, so I can definitely see the difference in a splurge purse and a this was on a clearance rack purse. Yeah. Whereas, like I said, for me, jeans, I can't tell the difference. For me, a t-shirt is a t-shirt. Um, I dress, I can tell the difference. Yeah. Jeans, personally, I'm not gonna splurge on. Like I like old navy jeans, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. I'm not about to go spend eighty dollars on one pair of jeans and my thighs going like this all day mm -hmm. like i'm not gonna do that second of all i really don't even like wearing jeans i don't like wearing jeans i wear leggings all the I time y'all if y'all can see me in these videos it's either sweatpants or leggings i got on jeans i can't lift my leg up that high but <laughs> i got on black sweatpants <laughs> I 
know if y'all Is this your hamstring? <laughs> Is this, is this is your my, hamstring? Girl, I don't know. Oh, God, it pulled. I didn't take anatomy. Anyway, I hope you guys <laughs> like that little stretch. Um, but I, yeah, I ain't gonna buy a whole bunch of jeans. Um, but I also will splurge on candles because I love yeah. candles. I light a candle literally every day. Um, so also we got a question on our New York to North Carolina video, which was our first video to get over a thousand views. That's a banger. Um, I think it's at like 1,500 now. They're, wait, they're, both, moves. they're both at 1,500. It's making moves. Um, so by the time this goes live, it may be even further than that. Um, but so from the New York, New Jersey, moving to North Carolina, we got comments down below that we did respond to. But we also got a few messages. Um, the one that we, we enjoyed because it started a conversation with us is, was there anywhere else we'd be interested in moving? And this was somebody who lives in California. And they were yes. like, you've got the mountains in California. You've got the beaches in California. It's beautiful out here. Um, have you girls ever been to California? Um, if you are looking to move, I suggest California. Listen. If we want to move to California. Okay. I would love to move to we California. need a job offer. Okay. Anybody who has a studio, not anybody, because that's a little scary. YouTube. Okay. We are on your platform. I you are even, located in California. If you want us to come through, fly us out. We coming through. So I'm even open to going to Atlanta. Yeah. Because that's where Tyler Perry Listen, is. Listen, any major studio that wants to give us a show, we we willing. We are willing, mm -hmm. um, but because most of the major studios are really actually in California, yeah, like Tyler Perry Studios is the only one in Georgia, but um, everywhere else like Netflix, Hulu, um, you know, DreamWorks, like all of that shit is in a uh, California. So yes, we are more than willing. Um, we oh, actually are going to try to plan a trip out there. Um, mm -hmm. When that's gonna be? Hopefully in twenty twenty next year. Oh, this year? I think we can make it in twenty twenty. Okay, maybe the end of the year. Yeah, maybe we go for New Year's. Turn up. Turn up. Well, we do got some good stuff happening this year, y'all. We're going to vlog and a few things. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. do, we do have some things coming up that we want to do this year, and we are going to vlog it. So you will see some vlogs on our Damn. channel soon. And that's We're going to be going live on IG, so make sure yeah. you're following us on Instagram at millennial underscore viewpoint. So our vlogs, you really get to see, like, you start to see us, but you'll get to see us, like, in the moment, mm -hmm. like, actually doing things. And I'm really excited to vlog. I think it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, we may be drunk. Who knows? You'll be drunk. I probably will. I'll be tipsy. <laughs> I ain't going to be drunk. I'm going to be trying to get there, though. We, we're going to definitely be taking Ubers, though, as a group. Yes. Because I'm not volunteering to be no designated driver. Right? To me, side note, I know this isn't a question, but it's nothing more annoying to me when you're the only person that's not drinking just because everybody else is like, I mean, because you could be Everybody's annoying at that point. It's like, it's like you're well, annoying, you're annoying, is, you're annoying, yeah, you're annoying. Yeah, it's fun for some time, but when it's time to like go home and wind down, it's like, I want one more dance. It's like, shut the fuck up and come on. Like, yeah. it's time to go. Um, but yeah, so we will definitely be vlogging. We would love to move to California. We are open to moving out of state. There are so many beautiful places that we are open to visiting and moving, truly. Um, but I've only lived in New York, North Carolina, and Florida. I've only lived in New Jersey and North Carolina. So, I mean, but we're open, right? Yeah. I wouldn't mind Arizona. I would go to Arizona. I would like to go to Nevada for Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I would like to go to Seattle. That's about it. You know why. My, uh, somebody's working in Seattle that I'd love to see. Second shot thrown. <laughs> um, but no, there's a, there's a lot of beautiful places in America that I would love to visit. Mm -hmm. So our maintaining friendship videos, it was a long email, but essentially it was just asking like, have me and Jazz ever like really, really got into it. And like a lot of my videos, I do say, you know, I don't expect much from Jasmine if some shit pops off and they were asking if me and her fought, like, is that how I know that she can't fight? No, we have never physically fought. Um, I would never physically fight Jasmine unless she attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> which I can't imagine happening like we used to work together we used to play fight at work like chase each other and shit she's like very strong <laughs> Jasmine got shaky knees I shouldn't, I, do. <laughs> I shouldn't tell y'all that and, and I get nervous and stuff and then I just like start melting like literally wherever I'm standing I just start melting like but she got some pointy ass elbows if she ever hit you with an elbow you know that she's gonna do damage I mean hopefully they're like shorter than this I'm gonna like <laughs> you have to jump up and be like <laughs> But, um, so no, I've never seen Jasmine physically fight. I hope I never have to. Um, honestly, I'm not into violence and drama and hollering and screaming and getting mm -hmm. shit all riled up. Like, yeah. I, I can't see a situation where we're going to be beefing with nobody. I'm too much. old. I'm too old for that. Um, and it's a lot of work to be tussling and rolling around in the dirt with somebody. That's a lot of work. It's a lot honestly, of energy. Honestly, like, I but, can't, um, I can't see myself fighting anybody. Way too old for that. Unless they, like, literally attack me. Like you said, like, that's the only, yeah. 
as far as Jasmine and I, if we've ever had a falling out, um, we've had times where we haven't spoken to each other, but we never got into like a screaming match. Have we? I don't think so. If we did, honestly, I don't remember. I can't think of us like ever getting into it, like yelling back and forth at each other or talking shit over text message. I, I know that like you've annoyed me and I've annoyed you and we haven't Definitely. spoken for a little bit, but never like I never talk to that bitch again. It's just mm -hmm. me. I'm just talking again. Um, so nothing really, no serious falling out. I think we're just both, like I said in, this, in a previous video, we're both like kind of passive aggressive and we don't like to argue. So if I do something to annoy her instead of telling me, she kind of just will stop talking to me. And I'm like, you good? And she's like, mm-hmm. But it's the same thing, like if she does something to piss me off, like I'd be like, you know what, this bitch, I'm not even gone. And you'd be like, you bitch, and I'd be like, I'm fine. <laughs> yep, I'm fine. <laughs> Cause we're we gonna be good at the end of the day. I feel like if it ever was something big enough, like I would bring it to your attention. And I, I feel like, I feel like we are like minded in a lot of stuff. So we get along and we, we match pretty well. We have the same views in most major areas. So you kind of gotta get along doing something like this. Yeah, honestly. And we both I feel like we, we compliment each other in the fact that you, you might be right. I am a bit of a talker and Jasmine's you a bit are. of a listener. I am. And also, like I say stuff and she laughs and it makes me feel good. And she says stupid stuff that makes me laugh. And then she just thinks she's comedian up here so we get along so we never had a major falling out but we've had periods when we haven't talked for a little bit but not like years at a time mm -hmm. our last question viewer response dm whatever you want to call it that we got was um i don't know what video they saw that made them ask us this but is it okay to date your friend's ex that they dated in high school it depends on how old you are if you're 19 y'all just graduated last year so no I would say it don't matter how old you are. No, I don't care if we 40 years old. If that was my first love and I dated them like for three years in high school and that's my first love, that's my heart. And you were like, would you marry? Would you mind if I'm, yes, yes. I mean, I personally wouldn't care to be quite honest with you. They shouldn't be on your lookout. There's enough people in this world that you don't gotta be. Cause when I think about it, the people that I dated in so high school. So that was school, your first everything? Your first everything. Your I mean, it would, it would hurt. It would hurt with a little for bit. years, and this is your girl that's at your house every day, and she knows all the ups and downs you was with because y'all been friends since y'all was dating, and you done cried I mean, on her shoulder when y'all broke up, and you went through it, and she was like, "Well, it's been ten years." I mean, yeah, that would hurt. It would but hurt. you would still be friends with her and be okay with the situation and go on group dates and shit. Probably, honestly, because what am I missing out on? Well, that's where we. He, maybe he learned a new, uh, some new moves since then. I feel like anybody I dated in high school, it wasn't really dating anyway. We were just hanging out on the playground. First of all, I don't know anybody that knows anybody from high, from my high school anyway. So if we friends today, I, I can't imagine you dating somebody from my high school. That would be a very slim chance. Like, how the <laughs> fuck did y'all meet up? I feel like if you have to ask, and you probably know it's not. But yeah, if they're asking, they know you're going to be like, no. Yeah. But and they're probably still gonna do it. Yeah, but if you don't ask, if it's something that just happened, like if you if if you weren't married and you just started dating somebody that I dated in high school and it just happened to happen, obviously that's some shit that just happened. And you already got feelings. I really wouldn't care. I'd be like, okay, like you know what I'm saying. You didn't know me when I was dating them. You know. I mean, because at this point, honestly, the people I dated in high school, I don't know them today anyway. That's very true. So they could and they be, don't know me. They either. could be a, a <laughs> they could be a <laughs> completely brand new different baby. person. Check so. my IG. Brand new name. Oh, I can't. <laughs> So I don't, I don't really know that person anymore. So if you want to date this new person, because I don't know this person. True. I don't know them. I, I knew them as a child. All right, so let me move my stance. Go ahead and do what you're going to do. But if it was my first everything, and you're my really close friend, and you were there, and we were dating for years, which is not the case for me personally, but if in this situation, that you know that's your best friend's first love, and they dated all four years of high school, mm -hmm. don't do it. And you know your friend, too. You know if they're going to be cool with it or not. Yeah. Don't take our advice. You got to know your friend. Don't get beat up out here, y'all. Listen. So those are just some things we wanted to go over with you guys, share with you guys, some things that caught our eye and we wanted to say on camera. And we also wanted to introduce a new segment today. What is it called, Jazz? MVP, <laughs> look out. <laughs> so in this segment, we're just gonna like highlight a few things that we've seen like this week that we're really interested in, mm -hmm. whether it's TV, movies, new artists. Mm -hmm. Food, whatever the case may be, whatever we looking out for this week is what we're gonna share with you. Mm -hmm. So this week, your girl, I'm your girl, Jazz. I'm really into Summer Walker this week, honestly. Like her whole CD is bomb. Like her featuring Usher come through. I be singing it all day. Well, all day. And Doja Cat, that's my girl, Juicy. Oh, I love that song. I'd I be hearing that. You got that Jay Z, Juicy. You got that man. See it from the back, 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 back. back. She giving it to the chair right now, y'all. Back, 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 back. <laughs> Wait till these vlogs, y'all. <laughs> um, 
I will say, um, since you said a musician, I'll say a musician. We're in North Carolina. I'm going to go ahead and give it to my boy, the baby. I feel like y'all really coming for him. They are. And I really like his music. Like, I really be bopping to that. It be in the car, it be like 5 o'clock in the morning because I got to go to work early. I'm like, eh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Like, that's, I really like his yeah. music. Like, why are they coming for him like that? Everywhere they go. Everywhere he go, they coming for him. They everywhere. Every, it, everywhere. It's like they got a little group chat. They mad that he making it. Just gave my mama a hundred. That's my guy. I like him. I really do. And even when, like, when he performed with Lizzo, he was on dance floor. And I was like, okay, because you know he way smaller than Lizzo. Yeah. But he, you know, he went up on that thing. But I do, I do like the baby a lot. Um, that's what I shine my light on this week. Yeah. So Summer Walker and the baby and Doja Cat. That's honorable mention. Yes, that's my girl. So next week we're gonna give you a new MVP lookout segment, um, highlighting something else that we're on the lookout for. Um, and if you guys, like I said, keep the questions coming in. We'll do a second video of mm -hmm. viewer questions in DMs. Yep. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell your friends and your mammy, your grandma, your pappy, your daddy, uncle, your brother, sister, your cousin. Know. Let them all know. Hit the subscribe button. Everything we reference to, all the videos we discuss, links below. Make sure you hit the notica notification bell. Ding. That's it. Until next time, y'all. Bye.